you know what? I want to try some of this Jonah crab. You ever try Jonah crab? Seven ninety nine. It looks like my mom already cleaned and prepared the crab ready to be steamed. She put some garlic, uh, tau si, preserved uh, uh, black beans, some oil, and some salt. Okay, it's ready to be steamed and these two cost $19.80. And this is the special steamer that we are using. That we usually steam um, Chinese bakery or pastry or dim sum. Okay, after about 10 minutes, let's see how it turned out. Oh, wow. Okay, I went to get into this stone crab. Well, this kind of looks like stone crab. Yeah, look at my mom open up the clamp. Yeah, that's that special meat. Dip it in some soy sauce and uh, vinegar right here. It's so, so easy. Try it, mom. Eat it and tell me what you think. Mm, good. Good? Good. Does it taste better than uh, blue Yummy. crab? Yummy. It's a bit different. Mm -hmm. Let me try it now. Okay, let me pick one. Mm. 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 good mm. I really like the flavor it just tastes like rock crab wow so you guys can find these and get it cheaper than rock crab definitely this is a perfect substitute mm. I actually I think I like this flavor over Dungeness crab yeah let's see that that brain Good stuff, good stuff. God love seafood, God love crab. While we're eating this crab, pairing it with some of this Merchants Keep IPA India Pale Ale, it makes it taste unbelievable. Here we go, let me try this nice piece right here. Mmm, that's good. So what makes these different than Dungeons Crab is the meat is a little bit more chewier and it has a more um, sandy flavor and the meat tends to stick to the shell. It's quite unique. I actually prefer the taste of this over Dungeness crab. Mmm, so good. Delicious.